Have you ever wondered what happens when you make a contactless payment? Well, let's consider an in-store transaction first. Say you pay for your lunch with a contactless card or smartphone. You might tap on a payment terminal. If the cost is above the contactless limit, it may require verification, such as your PIN. Or if you're super techie, the transaction could be verified and approved via an app on your mobile that uses your biometric data, such as a fingerprint. That's it. Fast, easy, and secure. Later, you check your bank balance and notice that it has decreased. Why? Well, when you tap your card and pay, the payment processor relays the information on the payment to your bank. This process allows clever secure payment networks like Visa and MasterCard to authorize the transaction and move your money into the merchant's account. Now that we've covered what happens when you make a payment in store, you're probably wondering what happens when you make a payment online. When you shop and make a payment online, you first share your payment information. Then an intricate process happens without you ever knowing. The payment information goes to a payment gateway that privatizes the transaction details and send them to the payment processor who informs the card network. From there, they check with the issuing bank, then either approves or declines the payment and informs the card network. Finally, the bank then confirms the transaction details and sends them to the payment processor, informing the payment gateway who informed the merchant to show that the transaction is performed and the payment is okay. The customer will then find out whether a transaction has been successful in a matter of seconds in the e-commerce he is buying and in his home banking. Speedy, right? After that, the clearing process begins. But let's find more about this step in our next video. At Pago Next, we pride ourselves on helping merchants to provide a seamless payment experience for customers around the world.